Okay. Now remember what I told you. On your marks. Set. Pow! <coughs> oh. <laughs> Gone! Next! Hello, Central Casting. Maybe there's more to this running thing than I thought. Don't worry. You guys will be so far behind, I'll need a NASA tracking device to find you. <laughs> Not me. I'm going to be right up there so close to Robin Barry, she'll be panting. Yeah, to get away from you, mate. <laughs> hey, mate, you're not the only one around here who gets to score, you know. Hey, well, who says I did? <laughs> Give me a break. You and Tats, man, in the boat shed the other night. The rest of us were lining up the fire extinguishers. You did it with Tats. Yeah, maybe. I don't believe it. Well, believe what you want. Guess what? Guess what have you heard? Probably. Robin Barry is going to be here, and we're going to be on television! <laughs> Guess what, guess what? We're going to be on television. You might be, but a big part in the rebel years is not my idea of glory. I've got talent I haven't even begun to explore yet. Instead of finding out what they are, I'm living this useless life of luxury. Keep the money. Stay useless. <laughs> I know. Take up running. That'll fix you up. Is she really going to become a champion, huh? Yeah, that's what's in the TV, guys. <laughs> Why is it so hard to make a decision? Why is she screwing up her eyes? She's crying because she's about to become an athlete. Shh, she's not made up her mind yet. Well, she better hurry up. They'll be out here to set up tomorrow. Hey. Oh, boss, oh, what? Now, I know you're all excited about them filming here, but I want you to remember the only reason we agreed is... So we can be on television. Some of you, yes. Oh, and, of course, they'll be selecting someone to act as Robin Barry's double. Yes. But our main reason is to generate a bit of publicity. We'll be acting as ambassadors, and I hope that our behaviour can reflect that fact. So, uh, any questions? Boss, can we turn the TV back on now? Yeah, there put you it go. back on. If you're going to use my kids, then I think I should be here on the day to supervise them. They can't do it any other day. Then why have it at all? <sighs> Look, Don, I can understand where you're coming from, but don't you think this is a bad precedent? We're a young institution. We need a profile. Yes, and we also need focus. I mean, what's our priority? The development of these kids. All this is going to do is... Throw their schedule out of whack and blow their concentration for days, Don. Look, it wasn't an easy decision, but there's the kids' agenda and there's the academy's agenda. Without the academy, forget the kids. For goodness sake, it's only a couple of days. What are I going to do? OK, I'm relying on you, Jen. Don't put up with any nonsense. What about Melissa? Mm, nah, she's tipping in the shoulders. Uh, how about, uh, Stacy? Maybe. Um, she's built quite differently. No, she'd never match. Well, um, what about... Well, look, Robin's quite slim, you know, neat, but with, uh, well, well she's shapely. Right, I get you. What I want is someone more like... Like her. Sandy. But I don't look anything like Robin Barry. Doesn't matter. You're similar in build and height. And we can match the hair. What about training? My coach, Greg's going to have a breakdown. It's all right. Leave that to me. Look, I think you're making a mistake. There's hundreds of other girls out there that'd be much better than me. Nonsense, nonsense. You'll be fine. But Don... Sandy's always modest about her talents, but she knows how much the Academy is counting on her to carry the flag. Don't you, Sandy? I can't think of anything more embarrassing than running around pretending to be a soapy star. Get you! We're all ready to scratch your eyes out for getting the part over us. Yeah, well, don't bother. You can have it. And I'm going to have her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's smart. She'll recognise class when she sees it. You? <laughs> Get on it. <sighs> Let's face it, you're too young for her. Snow is too straight. And Tom... I'd say he's got his hands full right now, wouldn't you, Tats? Shut up. I think it stinks. I mean, if we tried to cut classes for anything else, Don would hit the roof. Frankly, I am sick of hearing about it. See ya. Hey. What is it with you? I've been trying to catch you all day. Oh, well, here I am. I missed you. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, can you get away tonight? Tonight? Well, what's the matter? I thought you'd be stuck. No, it's just that it'd be three nights this week, you know, and I've got other things to do. Well, it'd be half do. an hour. And it wouldn't be half an hour, would it? Half an hour, tops, I promise. Come on, no one will know. 
It's not that. I just, I really need an early night. Yeah, well, you can have one tomorrow night. I really can't, Tom, not tonight. Okay, well, tomorrow. We'll see. Look, I've got to run, okay? Okay, that's it. How about you get into the van for makeup? Okay. So, what the lines have So, we'll be getting a nice uh, view of the Academy logo on the background, will we? Absolutely. Ah, here's our girl now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you're good, Dad. Yeah. Good, Dad. Yeah. Nice, Limo. Have you really got them, Barry? Dad, you Danny Rodriguez. At your service. Pleased to hear it. Long time no see. Oh, I've missed you so much. <laughs> it's been two years. I know, it feels like forever. You know, I'm so impressed. This huge academy, this whole athlete thing. I was secretly hoping they'd pick you. I wrote to you three times. You never answered any of my letters. You did? I don't remember. Oh, what does it matter? I'm here now, and it'll be just like old times. So how's that? Okay. Try and keep your elbows closer to your body. But that's how I run. Yeah, but no competitive runner would ever run like that. You see, it cuts down your speed. Yeah, all right. Okay. How's it going? Terrible. Yeah? Apparently, I don't run properly. I didn't say that. I think you're own great. What would you know? You're a cyclist. Don't get mad with me, Sandy. I want to get it right, honest. I'm just not a natural athlete like you are. I'm hopeless. Garbage. You just need a little practice, that's all. I tell you what, why don't you demonstrate for a bit and I'll watch? She used to always boss me around at school. She hasn't changed. You went to school together. How come you never said anything? She wasn't really that bossy. She was great, just like she is now. Go on, show me how it's done. All right, well, watch carefully. Hey, you watch too, in case I miss something. Like me. You should be so lucky. Three trials on the outside, two minutes in five minutes. Hey, you guys ready for a starring role? I need more runners. But we're swimmers? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, they're desperate. They need more people in the background. Oh, we need to disobey the great god television. Come on. Exactly. A dead. Away from me? Um, I can't. I, I've got to go round up some others. I'll catch you out there later. <laughs> OK, let's go again from the top. Uh, on second thoughts, let's take a break for lunch. You OK? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just a bit pooped, that's all. Yeah, well, watch it. These guys know nothing about athletics. You could be dead before they'd notice. Oh, it's OK. I'm sure Don will keep an eye on things. Don't you bet on it. As soon as he finished his welcome spiel, he took off. Oh. You really go to school with her? Yep. Are you going to have lunch with her? Probably. Don't suppose you need someone to stand in for you? Nah, she might suspect. Oh, I've got to go see counsellor anyway. I am exhausted just watching you guys. I mean, you're all so fit. Must be all that healthy food and early nights, huh? But it have to be early. Really? Hey, do you want to come and see the Academy with me? Oh, aren't you going to come and eat with us? They've catered for you. Oh, I can't. I'm on a special diet. Everything I eat's worked out to the gram. <laughs> what a pity. Well, hey, why don't you come to the canteen? Oh, I'd love to, but I've got lines to learn. Well, I could run them with you. Oh, but most of the scenes are with guys, so I guess I should do it with a guy. Oh, okay. Oh, but you could show me around later. We'll have time, won't we? Sure. I'll just get my script. <laughs> Tom, she is crazy about me. Everything about her says so. What? You've got to admit, scoring with her is going to be worth more than scoring with Tats. Look, it's not about points, Danny. Yeah, whatever, but hang around, because this afternoon is going to be magic. Oh, no, thanks, mate. I've had enough of this background extra stuff. It's boring. 
Well, for what it's worth, mate, I think she's boring too. What's up with him? You can see it a mile off. He's jealous. Yeah? Who? Me. Who else? Hey, Sandy. Wait up, you always walk so fast. I gotta eat and get back to filming. Yeah, how's it going? Fine. Where's Robin? I thought that you'd be having lunch with her. Oh, we were going to, but the director needed her for something, so uh, we're going to catch up later. She hasn't changed a bit. Good. You OK? Of course I am. You haven't had a fight with Tom. No. No, everything's perfect. It's not. Everything's totally hopeless, and I don't know what to do. He hasn't dumped you. Worse. I, th I think he likes me more than ever. I thought that's what you wanted. So did I. I really did want to get back together with him. But, um... Having sex... It's changed everything. Since the party, it's, it's as if he thinks that I've made some sort of long-term commitment. Like... Like I don't belong to, to me anymore. I, I belong to him. Maybe you're just not ready for something so full on. I should be. I should be. And Tom's such a spunk, so I can't be him. What's wrong with me? It's got nothing to do with what he's like. It's what you're like. It's like me with Snowy. I think I could fancy him in a year or so, but right now I don't have time to mess around with that stuff, so I'm not even going to try. I made the first move. I practically threw myself on top of him. Oh, I can't back out now. So don't. But if you stay with him, do it on your terms. Just because he says jump doesn't mean you have to. You have to look out for you. You've got to stay focused. Well, maybe that's all right for you. But I'm not sure I want to be like that. I want something more. I just don't know if this is it. Don't you get it? You are like that. We're all like that. Do you think we'd be here if we weren't? Come on. As for Danny, have you been watching that boy? He's all over her like a rash. It's disgusting. Well, give us a dirt. What's she really like? Oh, come on, Evie. I'm getting sick of talking about it. Oh, oh don't be such a spoil sport. She's nice. We went to school together. What more can I say? But you're best friends. You grow out of that stuff. I don't. Well, I do, so can we drop it? Fine by me, I'll see you guys later. What's with her? Girl stuff. You wouldn't understand. Thank you, girls. Now, if we could all turn to scene 32. <laughs> so that's acting. Talk about an easy life. If you ask me, she's a stuck-up bitch. Well, no one asked you. You're the one who gave me all that advice about not letting other people into your life and, and doing it on your own terms. And then the minute she says jump, that's what you do. Yeah, well, she's a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Can I borrow Sandy for a sec? Sure. Can we have a chat? I won't be long. Take your time. So, are you enjoying it? It's running. It's what I always do. No, it's not. It's much more than that. Look, uh, mind if I give you a few tips? Of course not. Well, I was watching you on the monitor before, and... Are you sure you don't mind? No. Well, I was just wondering if maybe you could do this with your arms when you're running. No runner would ever do that. No, but it's what I'm doing in the close-ups and it's got a match. You know, more dramatic, makes me look like I'm struggling. But athletes watching the show would know that technically no runner would ever do that. Well, look, Rebel Years is not about running, it's about me. But if I run that way, I'll look stupid. Oh, well, who cares? You're just a stand-in. And you're just a spoiled brat. 
All this pretending we're still friends. You don't give a damn about me. All you care about is yourself. That's not true. Yes, it is. You said it yourself. I'm just standing. We'll find someone else to bust around. I'm not standing. Sorry. Please don't go. I'm sorry. It's just this job. It gets to me. You don't understand how much pressure I'm under. Well, it's so awful. Then why do you do it? Because I want to be the best. Like you. I thought you were the one person who would understand. Why? Because you're the one who taught me. You know, no matter what, no matter who, you've got to stay focused on your goals. That doesn't give you a license to trample on people. I know. I'll tell you what, after this is all over, why don't you and I get together and have a really good night out? When I'm not all hyped up. Oh, no. Oh, come on, it'll be great fun. They're ready. Oh, thanks. Be an angel, tell them I'll be five minutes. but I was wondering if you could try just something a little different with your arms. No, they're not quite matching Robin's shots. I thought we sorted that out. Yeah, so did Robin. Sorry, mate. We're not going to need you in this shot after all. But I'm not in any of the others. That's the way it goes. For goodness sake, Sandy, you're nearly dead. Tell them. I can't. Well, someone better. Why isn't the staff ever around when you need them? I can't back out now, okay? Yes, you can. They are exploiting you. They're treating you like a piece of furniture. She is treating you like a piece of furniture, Sandy. Don't you get it? Hey, he told me I'm not needed anymore. Really? So I figured you could tell him that I am needed. Why would I do that? Look, you're a sweet kid, but you've got to do a little more than help me with a few lines to get a part. I thought you liked me. I do like you. I like all my fans. Then why did you lead me on? I didn't. You've just read a little more into it than it was intended. You're wasting your time. She's a creep. Yeah, well, it's not for much longer now. And action! Oh, 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 Sandy. Sandy, you're up. I don't know, but it feels pretty bad. Where's it hurt? Can you stand? Take a wild guess, mate. Does this mean she can't run? Are you kidding? She can hardly even walk. If I couldn't be there, you should have supervised. They said they only needed her in a couple of shots. How bad is it, Sandy? It's going numb. Get into physio and tell someone to alert Reg quickly. Oh. Yes, I know you don't have to say it. Yeah, I've got it. Okay. But we haven't finished the sequence. That's showbiz. Now what? No way. We're looking at overtime. Uh, what the hell do we do now? It's a minor setback. There's no need to panic if we all put our creative minds to the problem. Yeah. I've got it. Why don't we give Robin an injury like Sandy's? And she's really close to the finishing line, and you and you can give her your own chances of winning by picking her up and carrying her over the line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's perfect. It sucks. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. What do you mean? You're more than welcome to stay here and get shots with your own people. But I'm afraid any more filming with Academy personnel's over. Look, Majors, we had a deal. A goodwill deal. You promised me none of my athletes would be put at risk. Come on, Danny. For me? Hey, uh, I thought you said you liked me. Sure. I like all my fans. How is she? Well, Reg is looking at her now. Mm -hmm. Her colour's good. Let's hope it's not too bad. See you later. See ya.
Don pulled the plug on the filming. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. That's what brings you here. I thought you'd be working or washing your hair. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Come on, Tats, I'm not stupid. You've been avoiding me. What's the matter? What have I done? Come on, what's going on, Tats? You've been treating me like I don't even exist. All right. It's... I don't think I want a relationship that's so full on. It's not the way you're acting at the boat shed. Please, Tom, don't be angry. There's no one else or anything. I, I thought we meant something to each other. We do. But I I'm not ready for what you want, not right now. Will you ever be? I don't know. I'm confused. Why can't we be friends? Oh, okay, fine. You, you won't be friends with your friend. Tom! Just remember, though, huh? Your choice, not mine. Hey. <laughs> I, um... Had it out with Tom. How'd he take it? He was so pissed off. I don't blame him. Not if he feels half as bad as I do. Well, look, Tats, you had to do it. It was right for you. I know. What about you? How, how are things with you and Robin? No. It's so weird. You are always the one who is so focused. You know, you would never let yourself get into a knot over a guy like I have with Tom. So? So today you let Robin walk all over you. You even did in a hamstring just to keep on side. Tats, I know this is going to sound like a really obvious thing to say. Things aren't always as they seem. You want focus? I'll give you focus. <laughs> you mean that, that was all just... Yeah. A... Shout out, Robin Barry. <laughs> Sickness. Everyone gets sick sometime. Some of us recover quicker than others. Why? And when I fall sick, what is it that determines if I live or die? For thousands of years, people guessed at these questions. Some said that sickness was caused by the anger of the gods. Even those such as Hippocrates, the so-called father of medicine, 
who thought that sickness was a natural and material thing within the body, couldn't explain it. Medical knowledge was limited to sewing, bandaging, splinting, a few folk remedies and a host of practices that probably did more harm than good. The body was usually left to cure itself, and it often did so against the most amazing odds and in some strange ways. For example, the most surprising thing about the Black Death in the Middle Ages was not that so many died, but that three quarters of people, living as they did in company with animals and dirt, survived. Another surprising thing was that a number of diseases could not be caught twice. For example, smallpox was particularly dreaded. It not only killed, survivors were often left hideously disfigured. Yet if you lived, you never caught it again. You were immune. The best thing was to catch a mild case of smallpox, whereby you might escape the horror, yet still get the immunity. Some people even deliberately infected themselves from the blisters of a mild case to do just this. Risky business. A doctor named Edward Jenner heard of a farmer's superstition that if you caught cowpox, you would be immune to smallpox. Cowpox was a similar kind of disease, but it infected cows and occasionally people. It wasn't fatal and it left very few marks. In 1796, he tried a famous experiment. First, he inoculated an eight-year-old boy with fluid from a milkmaid's cowpox blister. Then, two months later, he tried the supreme test and infected the boy with the dreaded smallpox. But the boy didn't catch it. He was immune. The Latin name for cowpox was vaccinia, so Jenna called the technique vaccination. Meanwhile, the microscope had been invented. People were becoming aware that there were creatures in nature too small to be seen, an invisible world that teemed with life. There were strange creatures almost visible to the naked eye, the protozoa. But they were, in turn, monsters compared to even smaller forms, the bacteria. The bacteria went down in size to the limits of the microscope. They were the most primitive types and were seen to have no cell nucleus. Most cells, however, do have a nucleus and other structures in them, and it was slowly realized that all living things were built of cells. Then, discovery was hastened by an unusual event. In the 1850s, the French wine industry hit trouble. Aging wine was going sour and becoming undrinkable, sacre bleu. Millions of francs were being lost. The problem was given to a young scientist named Louis Pasteur. 